The depths and difficulties of friendship and celebration of Thanksgiving season are explored in the latest picture book from prolific author and illustrator Ryan Higgins. Ryan joins them. Good morning, Ryan. How are you today? Oh, great. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Oh, absolutely. I'm looking at your website right now, books.disney.com, um, with, with your books. Goodness gracious, how many have you written so far? They all look incredible. Oh, well, thank you so much. Um, I, I honestly, I lose track of how many I've made. I think it's around between 15 and 17, some, somewhere around there. Um, yeah, in my mind, I, I, I work on a book. I make it here in my studio. Um, and then when I'm done, I send it out into the world and I just move on to the next one. So I, I'm not keeping count, even though I get asked that on a regular basis. I usually don't remember how many books I have out. Uh, well, they look, they look great here. Uh, the latest one is Norman Didn't Do It. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so Norman is a porcupine and Norman's best friend is Mildred. Mildred is a tree. Norman and Mildred, um, they have this sort of one-sided relationship where Norman does all the talking because Mildred's a tree. And um, he just sort of almost, she's almost like an imaginary friend to him. He superimposes uh, his, his feelings and uh, onto Mildred. And so that's how this friendship works. He's very happy with the way things are. Just Norman and Mildred, Mildred and Norman, just the two of them. And then one day, another tree starts to grow nearby, just a little sapling. And Norman becomes very jealous. Um, and he kind of gets a little unhinged and he does something that he later regrets. And so this story sort of, it explores relationships, it explores um, friendships, but mostly it sort of explores that moment in almost every kid's life when their best friend has another friend and the feelings that come out of that. So um, even though Norman does something he goes on to regret, uh, it, he, he makes it better, he makes amends, and it does have a happy ending, and hopefully there's enough jokes thrown in um, for kids to laugh at it. It was a lot of fun to work on because I was able to pull some influence from Edgar Allan Poe's Telltale Heart, oh, but wow. use it in kind of a silly, light, ridiculous way. Oh, yeah. That's kind of deep right there. You know, one of the, uh, the great American uh, poets of, of our time, Edgar Allan Poe, I love that. Um, and being a student of American literature myself. Uh, uh, let us talk about these illustrations, though. I mean, just seeing the covers, they pop, they are so expressive. How do you blend the role of author and illustrator? Oh, yeah, thanks. Um, I, um, I try to keep them pretty separate. Um, I'm an author and an illustrator uh, because I like writing and I like drawing, but also I don't work very well with others. Um, but what I try to do is I try to keep the writing process and the illustrating process separate just because they, they kind of, they, they get in conflict with each other. Like, even though it's all in my head, my, my illustrator brain and my writer brain will argue. So what I will do is I will, I will write everything first. Um, usually it comes to my mind as like a little nugget of a, it's almost like an animated movie that I see in my head and I will write it down as quickly as I can. And then, um, I'll go through the process of, of, of writing and drafts. And usually by the time I come to a finished manuscript, it is, it's all the narrative lines filled with art notes. And then I pass it off as you will to my, um, my illustrator self. And then I'll look at it with a new set of eyes and I'll wow. go about drawing the pictures Sometimes the illustrator part of me will be grumpy with the writer part of me, particularly if I write in a crowd scene. I hate drawing crowds because you have to draw, you know, hundreds of characters. So sometimes I'll be grumpy with myself. It's always interesting to see that play out in my own head. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun and you are providing a lot of smiles, not only for children, but also for their parents and, of course, educators around the world. Ryan T. Higgins, the new book is Norman Didn't Do It, out now. Thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations. Thank you very much for having me.